Asaki here and welcome back to my channel. This is the channel where we talk all about luxury goods and handbags and that sort of thing. So if that's your cup of tea as well, please hit the subscribe button down below. All right, today we have such an exciting video because I am doing my very first Hermes haul. Ah, how awesome is this? So of course this video has a long story. I will um, kind of tell you as I'm unboxing all the items so that we kind of get through this video quickly. But basically um, what happened is that Hermes opened a new store. Actually they relocated from a different location and now they're inside our local mall. And my mom and I were so, so, so excited. As you guys may know, she is a luxury lover too. And we um, share a lot of the same interests and we have kind of like similar styles. So yeah, we were really really excited when Hermes um, first moved in and yeah, we decided to pick up a couple of things. Now, um, as you guys may know, Hermes is like one of those brands that like is really exclusive and they don't have like a ton of things like in stock, um, even like SLGs and jewelry and stuff. So we decided to go have these on a couple of different items just because like we live near each other and we see each other all the time. So it's really easy to share stuff and we figure like, you know, we don't need multiples of these kinds of items and it's not like I can wear this stuff all the time also so yeah we're gonna be switching on and off so it's really really exciting and I love my mom so much she is so freaking cool guys so yeah let us begin I actually don't know what is in which bag so I'm just going to be yeah I'm just going to be picking random things but yeah here we go the first item I'm so excited <laughs> it's so weird unboxing like a new brand um in my videos like I just never thought I would come to the day where you know I'd be unboxing Hermes items of course these are just like small items but I'm still really really happy to be able to start my Hermes collection all right so we have the first one and oh yeah I know what this is already <laughs> so here we have my very first Hermes SLG all right so this is actually I need to look at the receipt to actually find out what the name of this item is all right, so the description says this is the Porte Carts Calvi. So I'm pretty sure people just call this the um, Calvi card holder. And it is in the leather Chev Misore. Misore. Chev Misore. I am so new to Hermes. I don't know how to pronounce any of this stuff. I'm so, so sorry. But it is in the color Rose Confetti, which as you guys know, this is my dream Kelly color. It's so beautiful. It's like the prettiest, like, bright pink it's not too bright in my opinion but like it's just it's literally the most perfect pink I kind of feel like it's similar is it similar to this one I guess this is a little bit darker this is the Prada Petalo color hmm yeah I'm not sure if I have anything in my collection that's like super similar but I guess like Oh, my cocoa handle is actually pretty darn similar to this. So yeah, as you can tell, this is one of my favorite shades of pink. So since my mom and I are both very, very new to Hermes, we ended up getting paired with this essay who is really, really awesome, but he has also just started at Hermes as well. So I kind of feel like we're learning together. So I went into the store with my mom and we were just kind of like looking around, but then um, we were like asking about SLGs and stuff. And I, you know, I think I was wearing an all pink outfit that day. So you can obviously tell that I really like pink so I had just asked the essay like you know do you have anything in pink and he like pulled out the SLG drawer and this was sitting right there I'm pretty sure this was the only pink thing actually no there might have been um like a rose azalee or rose azalee um SLG but I really don't like that color I pretty much have only found two Hermes colors that I like and the other one is coming up. <laughs> All right, so let me just show you this SLG. So this is like the um, card holder. It's got no logos on the outside. But then on the inside, when you open it up, it is like a two-toned. This is more of like a burnt orange color. It's not my favorite, but I mean it's on the inside, so you won't be able to see it that often. And the um, whole wallet just like closes like this with a button closure. So you can put cards both on the sides. And I guess you can put like coins and stuff if you carry that kind of thing. But um, I don't, so I will be mainly using this for like cards. I just think it's really cute. It was really simple and it wasn't like too, too crazy. Crazy expensive. Let's see. 
So this was actually $380 before tax. So yeah, not bad. You guys know that like I'm not a super huge SLG person. Like I have one wallet and one card case and that's pretty much it in terms of like luxury. So yeah, it was really nice to add something into my collection. And like I said, my mom and I are going to be switching off using this. I mean, you only ever need to carry one wall at a time anyways, right? So in the times that like I'm not using it, she can use it and then vice versa. So yeah, really, really happy with this purchase. I was just so, so happy to see and confirm that Rose Confetti is definitely the color for me. I mean, just look at this thing. <laughs> All right, opening the next one. <laughs> okay, and here we have the Hermes click bracelet i think that's what this is called so this is the click h bracelet and the color is rose draggy rose drag i don't know <laughs> um but it is like one of the lightest shades of pink it's actually almost coming a white on camera um so they actually did have a couple of different pinks and I really really wanted the one that was darker but my mom said she really really liked this one and like I said we are sharing these items so I just went with the one that she wanted um obviously I still really really love it it is still pink and I think it's a really really beautiful shade of baby pink and it really matches well with both of our skin tones and you guys may know that I'm not a jewelry person I'm like I'm not even wearing jewelry right now except for my watch and my um, wedding ring so that is another one of the reasons why like I just really really wanted you know be able to share with her um, um, she wears jewelry a lot more often than I do and then you know for the occasions that I do want to just put something in my wrist you know I can ask for it or whatever so yeah um if you guys aren't familiar I, I, I'm actually still learning about this myself so you kind of press the bracelet together on the sides and then the H slides off like this and then you open it up and this is what it looks like on me. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I love the way that this looks. So this is like the thinner bracelet. There is like a thicker one that's more of like a bangle, but I really didn't like that one at all. And um, this is in the size T2. So I believe there are three sizes or are there four sizes. I know there's definitely T1, T2, and T3. Um, this is the middle one. So it is like pretty small. I actually, when I saw it, I didn't think it would fit on my wrist, but this is a really, really comfortable size. I like my bracelets to be like this where they don't like super hug my um, skin and they're able to slide around a little bit. Some people like their bracelets to be super tight, but I definitely like mine being able to slide around like this I just think it's way more comfortable and yeah I think this is the perfect size for me which is funny because I got another bracelet which I'll share with you next and I actually had to get that one in the t3 size because I tried on the t2 and it was just way too tight so yeah I think with the different styles of bracelets I guess um the sizing is different so just keep that in mind if you guys are interested in the um bracelets but yeah this is the click bracelet I'll just keep it on for the rest of the video so that you guys can kind of see it but it's so beautiful I I love the um, Hermes gold hardware. I think it's just one of those really pretty like yellow golds and yeah I'm just so happy to get this. I know I told you guys I'm not a jewelry person but I honestly want another one of these for my own in like the darker pink color. I can't even remember what it's called but it looked really really similar to Rose Confetti. But yeah super super cute and so happy to finally own one of these. I know like literally everybody already owns these but yeah I'm just so happy to have one. Alright, so this one was $620 before tax. So, yeah, very expensive, especially just for, you know, a jewelry piece, but I think it's worth it. I think it looks really, really cute, and this is definitely one of those things that, you know, you can wear forever. Alright, and moving on to the last item. I actually just picked this up today. You might have already seen a sneak peek of this one in my vlog that I uploaded earlier. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so freaking excited for this one, you guys. Like, you have no idea. Alright, so I already told you it was another bracelet, but this is a really good one. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my god look at this guys how freaking cute is this so funny story we were actually picking up this bracelet and I had just finished watching a video um from Mel or purse on fleek and she actually unboxed this I think this was an older video this is like maybe a year ago or something but she had unboxed this on her channel and I saw it and took a screenshot of it and was like I need this bracelet so I showed the picture to my essay and he said that that bracelet is really hard to find especially in the color that I got it in oh by the way I got it in rose sakura so this is what rose sakura looks like um 
it's more of like a light baby pink but you guys know that like I really like light baby pinks and then like the um, darker pink like this which is like I call this like a candy pink and this is like a baby pink so those are my two favorite types of pinks and um, if you guys watch my wishlist videos you'll know that I really want a Birkin 30 in this color and a Kelly 28 in the rose confetti color that I just showed you um, let me actually compare the two colors for you so yeah here they are they are very similar but also different so this is the rose confetti and this is the rose soft so um, like I was saying I want this in the Kelly and I want this color to be my Birkin so yeah let's just put that out there in the universe guys like I know it's just wishful thinking but I just want to throw that out there as many times as I can so that the universe can hear me and hopefully deliver these bags to me um, anyway I'm getting off track so this bracelet I don't even know what it's called I'm so new to Hermes that I have no idea what any of these things are called the Hoppy Double Tour Bracelet in calf skin the size is t3 and um i already told you it's rose sacra all right so is that what it's called yeah i guess that's what it's called and oh while well, i have the receipt with me i paid it doesn't show me the price like before tax for some reason so after tax it was 584 but tax is different in every state so i really wanted to give you guys like the um total without tax but Okay, maybe you can just do the math yourself if you want to, but I paid $584 um, after tax, and our tax rate is 8.3%, so yeah, maybe if you guys want to do the math on that, you can figure out how much it was. But yeah, I'm just so, so in love with this. This is actually the rose gold, so I'll actually put this on for you guys to show you the difference. And um, like I said when I was reading the receipt, it is a T3 size. Oh wait, let me show you um, the class. So the, so the class just looks like this. You... Um, push it down to lock it and to open it you just push this middle part up like that and then this hooks onto the leather part just like this so let me see if I can do it myself um but what was I saying oh yeah so this size is actually one size up from the click bracelet that I have like I said I tried on the same size the t2 size in this um bracelet but it was just way too tight and I didn't like how it only stayed on my wrist like in one position and it wasn't able to like move around or anything so I just really didn't like that and yeah that's what it looks like on me how cute is this I actually would want to wear this like maybe on my watch wrist um because I think it would look really cool like paired with a watch but just to show you guys the difference between gold and rose gold um they are very very similar in my opinion the rose gold the rose gold just has a slightly more orange tint to it while the gold gold is more like yellow can you kind of see that it's so confusing because now that i'm looking at like bags and stuff online i'm like is it rose gold or is it gold gold because they do have rose gold hardware on bags too so i don't know i just find it's really really hard to tell but yeah i think the rose gold is so beautiful you guys know i'm a sucker for rose gold and not many brands do them like i know louis vuitton has some rose gold but i don't know i think it's just so so cool how hermes does that so um yeah here are my two bracelets i'm so happy with them don't they just look so cute I love this rose sakura color so much like I can't even tell you guys like I'm so in love with it and I have talked so many times about like you know wanting the Birkin and rose sakura and running the um you know Kelly in rose confetti but like I had never seen these colors um in person so like I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them but yeah and everything ended up working out really really well and I'm just so happy to have finally seen and I own these colors sorry I'm just trying to um put my bracelet on the other wrist so that you can see what it looks like with my watch all right see this is one of the reasons why I wanted the larger size because um I was thinking if I do wear it with like my watch um arm like it would look really cool like this and I think that looks really awesome what do you guys think think so I this is actually a really old watch it's um from fossil and it's also got kind of like rose gold hardware so yeah I just think that looks really really freaking cool guys <laughs> I'm so happy all right so yeah that was all for my video um this is like I said uh, me starting off my Hermes journey um I had talked to my essay and I told him like straight away like you know what are my dream bags and stuff and obviously he was like girl you're gonna have to work for that and you know buy some stuff which I totally understand um 
my problem is that like I'm just not a huge SLG and jewelry fan like these bracelets that I have and like the SLG is probably like you know one of the only things that I like I am eyeing a couple of more wallets I really like the wallet called the beer it looks mm, I kind of, every time I think about it in my head I call it the bean wallet but it's the um wallet that kind of looks like a folio and then it has an H on it I'll insert a picture up here so that you can see it but I would really want that one other than that I just don't know so I was just kind of telling my essay like hey if anything pops up in these two colors because I am open to you know like buying other things I just don't really know what's out there so yeah I guess we'll see how this goes wish me luck guys um I really want to be able to you know get a bag one day especially if it was in store that would be amazing but I know the chances of it are very 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 slim to none especially due to the fact that I am so picky with my colors and I pretty much only like two colors but hey whatever you know um I just want to you know really focus on not just buying stuff to buy stuff you know just like if anything pops up that's in the color that I like that I know I'll use and I really love I'll buy it but you know I'm not really rushing to buy a bag or anything so it's like I'm not going to just be buying stuff in order to get the purchase history do you guys know what I'm saying so yeah I know that I just unboxed three items but I am going to take it slow after this I swear so um yeah that's just kind of my thoughts on that so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed all of my rambling and all of the things that I've showed you if you do like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know your opinion on Hermes down below we never talked about it on this channel really so I would love Love to know like you know would you like to get an Hermes bag one day or how do you feel about the brand like I just really want to have a conversation with you guys in the comments below just because yeah we've never even talked about it before so let me know your thoughts and yeah as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and stay safe stay healthy out there guys and I will see you next time bye <laughs>